Hey yo, y'all, it is Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, giving my final thoughts, final prediction for the 49ers and Cardinals game. If you don't know already, I picked the 49ers to win the game. Prediction video will be in the card section if you want to take a look at that. I want to give my final thoughts for this game, seeing how I feel about the 49ers against Arizona, a division rival. Seeing how I feel about Arizona in general too. They've had an up and down season. They were doing pretty good, then they were bad, and they're doing pretty good. It's a very, very inconsistent team, which is kind of good and kind of bad because which one are we going to get? Are we going to get the good Cardinals or the bad Cardinals? It's going to be fun tomorrow, 4.05 p.m. Luckily in North Carolina, it is on TV, the late game. I'm excited for that. I don't have to try to find other ways to watch it. That's cool. Let's just talk about this game right now. So 49ers versus Cardinals. 49ers, they won the previous meeting against Arizona by a score of 35 to 16. Brock Purdy, as I said in the prediction video, he was 20 of 21, which is 95%, almost perfect game. 283 yards, one touchdown. The defense wasn't playing so hot. Josh Dobbs actually had a pretty good game in that session. You have Michael Wilson had two touchdowns. They were able to do a lot of great things for the team on offense and also defense as well a little bit until Brock was almost perfect in that one. I feel like in this game against Arizona, Kyler Murray, he's going to try to do a lot more running around. He does that quite a bit against us. We've struggled against him quite a bit at times in the past few years, ever since he got drafted in 2019, along with Nick Bosa in 2019. I expect them to have a lot of running plays and stuff like that for him. James Conner, he's probably the guy that we have to look forward to the most. He's been going off for the past few weeks. He's up there in age, but he's still a really, really good of a football player. Reminds me of Frank Gore, honestly. Just getting better with age. That's crazy for a running back position. Usually running backs fall off later on by the time they're in their 30s, but... Connor is still around playing really well gotta give him much respect the receivers that they have they can work with them as well they always say run to set up the pass the Cardinals could probably do that use Kyler Murray a lot use James Connor utilize the receivers that they have then they can have a good chance against the 49ers although the 49ers have been playing really good football especially on defense too Steve Wilkes has really gotten the groove of it ever since the bye week he's schemed up great things the defensive backs are playing very good football that's the big thing that i like about him and plus he does have extra motivation against the cardinals just a little bit i wouldn't say a lot because it's been a while now since he coached the cardinals actually in his first head coaching stint before the carolina panthers last year yeah three and 13 actually i think both of the wins were against us at that time with josh rosen as the quarterback he got fired after one year that would leave a bad sting in your organization if you're steve wilkes because that was not really fair to fire him after one year it is what it is but i think Books is in a very good position with the 49ers to get another opportunity to be a head coach somewhere else. And I hope an organization that takes Steve Wilkes gives him more than one year because that's all he's ever gotten as a head coach. One year with Arizona, half a year with Carolina. He honestly should be the Panthers coach right now. I've always said that for a while now. He's not, and the Panthers are kind of regretting what they're doing. The Cardinals, you could say that a little bit too, because after they fired him, they hired Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray, and it hasn't really worked out. Kingsbury was fired after three or four years. He could have gave Steve Wilkes a chance just to see what happens. They never gave him the chance. I believe Steve was always thinking about that whole tenure with the Cardinals, but probably not as much anymore. This is just another game to him. It's just something, if you don't know, about the history of Steve Wilkes and his coaching career for the past few years. But anyways, back to the game. I know a little off topic. Like in the 49ers, I believe the 49ers offense can have a very good game with typical suspects of skilled players and Brock Purdy. Offensive lines can be taking a little bit of beating. Defensively, will be taking a little bit of beating as well. Eric Armstead will still be out for this game. Javon Hargrave is also scheduled to be out. But I believe Dre Greenlaw and Traverius Ward should be available to play, which is good news right there. We could always use anybody that we have that are great players, great talents on the field any day of the week. I feel like Hargrave and Armstead are more precautionary things to get ready for the Ravens game on Christmas Day. That is probably the biggest matchup for the 49ers besides the Eagles a few weeks ago. That's going to be much exciting. So I expect a good offensive day for the 49ers. Defensively, maybe a little bit of a struggle just because it's Kyler Murray. Hopefully they do a good job on containing him like they did with Jalen Hurts a few weeks ago. Great stuff can happen for the 49ers. Upsets do happen. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But I believe the 49ers will take care of business and beat the Cardinals two times in a season yet again. That's it, guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers and Cardinals game. Who do you have winning this one? Final predictions. Do you have the 49ers? Do you have the Cardinals pulling the upset? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this, as always, like and subscribe. That is much appreciative. And I hope to catch you guys up tomorrow after the game. I'll probably chill out before and then after the game. We can make a video talking about we won the game like we have for the past few weeks now, ever since the bye. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, rest of your night. Go Niners all day. Good luck to the players, coaching, staff, everybody involved. Hope they get this win.